Glass is both beautiful and unique. The only packaging material that is 100% recyclable with no loss of quality. That means that no matter how many times bottle or jar is recycled, it will be just as good as it was when it was first made. Quite simply, glass is the purest, most sustainable or environmentally friendly form of premium packaging. Our way of manufacturing, filling and distributing at destination is the most sustainable and economical way to supply beverages. This is how it all begins. The core ingredients used to make glass are silica sand, soda ash, limestone and a large amount of crushed recycled glass called cullet. One of the cornerstones of our business is to year on year increase the amount of ecological glass used in our products. These ingredients are all added together to create a precise batch formulation. At this stage, additional ingredients can also be added to the batch to create different colours of glass. Once ready, the batch travels along a conveyor belt to the furnace. The furnace melts the raw materials at a heat of 1,565 degrees Celsius, or 2,850 degrees Fahrenheit. After 24 hours of this extreme heat, the raw materials have melted into molten glass and are ready for forming. The molten glass can now be distributed to a forehearth, where it's conditioned and equalised into a uniform temperature. From here, streams of molten glass enter a feeder, where a plunger pushes them down a narrow tube called an orifice ring. As they emerge, mechanical shears cut the streams into exact pieces, called gobs. The gobs are then distributed into blank moulds at the forming machine to create partially shaped masses of molten glass, called parisons. We use two methods of forming, depending on customer preference or specification. The press and blow method, generally used for wide mouth food containers, happens when the gob of glass is loaded into the blank side of the machine. A mechanical plunger forces the soft glass into the shape of a partly formed container called a parison. The parison is passed over to the blow mould side of the machine, where compressed air forces the soft glass into the surface of the blow mould to form the final shape of the glass container. Narrow neck press and blow methods can also be used to achieve lighter weight bottles by pressing the plunger deeper into the soft glass. The blow and blow method is generally used for larger wine and spirit bottles. The gob is loaded into the blank side of the machine where compressed air is used to create the parison. It is then transferred across the blow mould where compressed air is used to create the final shape of the container. The bottles are then subjected to thermal imaging inspection by XPAR technology. Taking a 4,500 moving average, it compares containers with each other using two cameras. Thick, hot glass means more radiation. Thin, cold glass means less radiation. XPAR is used to catch variation in the container and minimises container defects getting through to the cold end. Now the bottles are loaded into a special oven called an annealing layer. Here the bottles are heated again and then gradually cooled to room temperature. This process relieves internal stress and makes the glass bottles much more durable. After annealing, a protective layer of polyethylene wax is sprayed onto the bottles to prevent damage and provide a virtually unscratchable surface. The bottles can then move along the line to the automated inspection area, where again they are checked for imperfections. This careful monitoring involves a comprehensive range of electronic, mechanical and manual checks to ensure that all the bottles are of the highest quality. Once more, those that don't pass the test are sent back to be recycled. With each bottle individually coded to be fully traceable, the bottles are now ready for the next stage of their journey. Whether that's our in-house filling facility or to be sent for shipment, it's the end of a remarkable process.